how to annotate during your Microsoft Teams meeting. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Keizers and help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That is why you can be sure that after watching this video, you know everything about annotating in Microsoft Teams meetings. So let's dive into it. Yes, this is a new feature. I just discovered it in the message center, but also my dear uh, colleague Vesa Nopan made a very nice blog about this, but I'm going to show you in this video how this works. So it's during the meeting and there are some things you need to know ahead of time so here we are in microsoft teams i'm just going to open this meeting i also added uh, debbie to this meeting all right i'm gonna click on join and here you have a normal meeting with me in the picture i'm gonna mute myself because uh, else it's gonna echo and on the other side i'm going to add debbie so here we are in a teams meeting both and we want to share our screen so this is the first thing that you need to know about annotating it only works in full screen yesterday i was trying it out and i couldn't figure it out why it didn't work and finally vesta said well maybe you should try full screen because it only works in full screen of course i didn't do that so now in this case i'm going to go full screen so i'm going to select the screen and as you see i'm sharing my uh, screen so it uh, jumps a bit down my pc is uh, very slow as it's also recording i'm going to open the browser so here we are one of the things you see here at the top is you are sharing your screen you can now drag this bar around so that's something that's new and i really love that but there's something new there's also this annotate pencil and i'm going to click on it so now what will happen is it will give you the annotate options it's loading configuring because what happens it creates a whiteboard actually over the content so the background is actually uh, in your uh, whiteboard and once the annotate tools are there then you can start annotating i'm going to uh, select done here you see start interacting with the background and uh, here you have your pencil so now now I can just draw something on the board and if I'm Debbie I'm going to test this because I haven't tested this uh, let's go to Debbie's screen and let's see if I can do it as well so here is Debbie also drawing together in this video we are just drawing some images so this works in both ways that is of course very powerful because then you can meet and really talk about what is going on now there's one other thing Thing you can do here you can uh, click on save a snapshot when i do this it will save it as a whiteboard here you see a snapshot saved to a whiteboard then we've got some uh, settings here you can set who can annotate so i could say okay not only uh, me but also uh, debbie and that's the default everyone or only me so i'm going to set it on only me i can have a collaboration cursors and enhance linked uh, shape so when you draw something it directly shows you what is happening so now i'm going back to debbie's place and now you should see debbie so you see debbie here on the canvas as well so this works really fine if you want to turn it off you can also turn it off by clicking on this and now it's turned off and nobody can interact anymore so that's also a way to do it or at least sorry now it's just a curve so that's that's the thing you need to know when you are finished you get your sharing and you can turn it off again in this case i can stop the sharing it will directly stop now that i'm back in this meeting what i can do is go to my whiteboard no i don't want to start a new session but let's do it for now and if i'm correct we should see the annotation and i am correct because we can load it so here you see directly i made some annotations on the screen and it snapshot it for me of course this is a special uh, thing because my computer was slow 
but normally it should be uh, fine and uh, working. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. What you need to do is a little summary here. If you want to annotate, you start your screen sharing in full screen on a desktop PC or in uh, the browser. It should work on both. And then you can annotate in Microsoft Teams meeting and then after that, afterwards, you, you can even edit your snapshots. That was this video. If you want to see a few mistakes on Microsoft Teams, then you can view this video. Thanks for watching.